And I always ask this question, Brawl for All. I loved the Brawl for All, but uh, you were the only person to withdraw from the Brawl for All. Uh, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions from it, but first I'm going to give you a theory. Yeah, but uh, I want you... you to simply know this. Oh, yes. I was never supposed to be in the Brawl for All in the first place. Because you get people brought this up before me. You withdrew. I go, I go, oh, no, oh, I go, oh, contrary. No, I, I did that. Way. I didn't even withdraw. Okay. When, when this whole conceptual idea came together, and again, do I really know how it came together? No. But if I was going to guesstimate, I'd say that, uh, uh, that several of the WWF executives are all probably sitting around partaking of one too many barley pops. And they started talking boisterously as to who did they think was the toughest guy in the locker room. And then they came up with this wacky idea. Well, why don't we do this? And we'll find out who is that person. That's how I think it came all about. All I know is that when they made the announcement to the talent, they brought us all into the cafeteria area. And they said, they started talking about this concept of this brawl for all. Three one-minute rounds, I think, of, of boxing gloves with 18-ounce boxing gloves. But they said right at the beginning, the only two, the only two people that will not be allowed in this event is Ken Shamrock and Dan Severn. Why well, haven't be standing next to one of their uh, executive executives there? And and uh, and I'm like, well, I said, uh, if since I'm not going to be in this, do I have to sit in here and listen to any more of this? And he's like, no. He said, you go. So so I left. So this event goes on for a, a couple weeks. And I, 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 I'm in the locker room. I'm, I'm just basically waiting around to see if I will perform tonight or not. Because you may be on that list uh, performing tonight. But maybe somebody's promo went too long. Someone's match went too long. There are certain, you know, every every professional wrestling show, it's, it's leading up to a monthly pay-per-view. That's how they're going to all cash in. These are free TV shows, but they're going to cash in really when it comes to these monthly pay-per-views. So you got half a dozen different storylines that are taking place. These storylines must continue through because if one guy gets hurt, we got to have at least all the other storylines keep going forward because we still have the pay per view that 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 that's going forward. And like I said, people do get hurt, and so as I'm waiting there to see if I'm going to be on tonight's match, one of the road agents comes up to me and says, "Hey, Dan, how would you like to be in tonight's uh, brawl for all?" So, how much notice did I have? Oh, a few hours, <laughs> and I, I just said against who and how much they gave me a name. They gave me a price tag. I go done, but at the same, but then I said I don't want to wear the eighteen ounce boxing gloves. And I go, you can't go out there bare knuckle. I go, I go, I said, I go, I will never throw a single punch. I will show you what a real wrestler can do without ever throwing a single punch. And then that's literally that's one of those things that if I, if you could if you could ever go back in time and do over, I would have. Went out there, I would have had the gloves taken off of me at that point in time, and I would have done it just by the way. Mm. So, but as it was, I mean, I, I I took the Godfather down multiple times, clinched and stuff like that. He was unable to really do anything, but it was it, to me, it was kind of a lackluster of a match, though too. And but the whole concept of doing something real like this on a professional show to where now they're not seeing all these big high spots. They're not seeing these leaps and slams and it, uh, and it was all supposed to help promote to the incoming of Doctor Death, Steve Williams. It was, and actually, I was going to bring yes. up my theory now. So you're in the quarter. Uh, sorry, you're in the last sixteen. That was your f uh, the first round, basically. Uh, but uh, if you had won, and I don't see any reason you wouldn't have won your quarterfinal matchup, you would have gone against. Dr. Death Steve Williams, if he'd won his quarterfinal matchup. That's why I had assumed you were maybe told to withdraw because they wanted Steve Williams to win. Is that not true? No, 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 that was true. It was just basically as soon as as soon as my match was done, and I, I mean, I walked through the curtain 
And then the same road agent that said I was in just came back up to me and goes, okay, you're, you're back out now. I was like, I made a payday for the night. I mean, you got to realize, I made my normal payday because I'm there. Now I get an extra payday because I, I jumped at this bra for all. And, it, and, 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 and I, now I'm out again. Now, so again, my speculation was, okay, they were around drinking again, some of their barley pops. And they're like going, well, I think so-and-so might be able to take Dan Severn. Well, I, I, I was going to say, again, had it been, I, because the Brawl for All, they allowed you to do whatever you wanted to do, I, I'm not going to win a contest of just fisticuffs. I'm not going to win a boxing contest because I'm not a boxer. But as long as you allow me to do anything and everything, I'm okay. You, you as a boxer... You have to be within arm's reach in order to punch me. If you're kickboxing, legs range, a kick, knee, elbow, whatever. I mean, I was always good through my no holds barred career, staying just outside of range because I simply knew that there's that point where you're close enough to where now who's going to commit first. You just you look at it, again, I always refer to it as the setup. You're trying to set your point up, you're trying to distract them. And to, to do things, because there were certain things I would do upstairs. There are certain things I would do downstairs. 